Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Will It Run video on Trains with Shane. You guys have probably seen the video already on the EMD Demo Unit SD60. If you haven't, please go check that out. Along with the Norfolk Southern GP40, or excuse me, SD40-2s. This unit actually came from the same person I got this unit from. This one, you could tell by the pictures, there was stuff wrong with the handrails. I made an offer um, after already purchasing the SD60, and uh, they accepted. I picked this thing up for 40 bucks, which if I can, first of all, I can figure out how they got this cellophane wrapped around. Oh, wait, here we go. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, yes. Let's get this out of here. That lid wasn't coming off in transit, that's for sure. Okay, get rid of that. Open our box. Take our bubble wrap strip out, like Atlas and Kato like to do. Here's our unit. Doesn't look too bad from this side. What do we got here? Jamming in on our handrails. Is this handrails? No, nope. it's Rapido couplers. Sunshades. And Rapido couplers. What do we have up here? Additional handrails that were not installed. That's probably our far front and rear handrails. Put those back in here because those were not the problem that I saw in the auction pictures, which is why I offered as little as I did. The problems are on the other side. So let's pop this guy out of here. If we can. It's always put in there like that. Apologize for the background noise if you hear it, guys. We've got uh, got company. All right, let's just take all this foam out. Well, Some of these stanchions, no? Maybe just this one. Um, in the auction photo, guys, this, this thing was all twisted up and funky. So they may have repaired it, or it may have been a different unit in the pictures. I don't think it was a different unit, though. Let's try to excond this from the foam cradle here. Again, let's see, just the front. And this was glued in this way. All right, uh, front and rear hand guards not with standard handrails was notwithstanding because they're right there. Not bad looking at first glance. lack of details not uh not uncommon for 
an atlas of this vintage. The three chime horn, horn is at least there. There's one sunshade attached, and the other one was in the bag like we saw. Pretty decent fuel tank detail. Basic trucks. Not too crusty. We've got knuckle couplers on both ends, so that's good. Looks like one is a might be a, a magnum mount of some kind or an accumate. This one looks like honestly it looks like the cheap early Cotto couplers. Wonder if this unit was made by Cotto for Atlas. Nope, this is one of the later ones where Atlas was making their own in China, so. One, two, three, or four. Which camera do you put it on? Sorry for the background noise again, guys. People don't care that I'm filming in here. All right, well, it looks pretty good. So what do you guys say we get this over onto the switching layout, find out what it does and what it does not do? All right, we've got our BNSF-7 over here on the Ingle Nook switching layout. So let us turn on some power, forward direction, and dial up the current. I'm starting to creep. I've got it a little over halfway. Let's dial up some more. Not bad, nice and quiet. Switch directions, bring her back. Directional lighting seems to work. Both number boards and a rear rear headlight, that makes sense, a tail light, maybe. Let's see what our slow speed creep looks like. Not bad, pretty good. Um, this is just a standard DC battery powered controller. It doesn't have any of the pulse type of stuff or the ultimate slow speed crawl. So I don't expect great crawling. As you guys see, I've not installed the handrails on the front and the rear yet. Okay, so, pretty successful test. If I can get this thing back on the ground without falling over here. It is coming off my tripod. Well, that was a very short and uneventful, but successful test. So will it run? Yes, it will, thankfully. I took a little bit of a risk on this one, given the I, I won't call it damage because nothing was smashed or anything like that. Sometimes handrails just, the stanchions pop loose. You guys know that it happens. So thankfully it wasn't a big deal on this one. I think this is the first Dash 7 in N-Scale that I own now. So again, guys, I want to thank you for joining me here on Trains with Shane. And I will see you on the next one. Until then. Stay safe.